guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's a new day a new what i eat in a day i am so excited for this video we're gonna have amazing recipes if you guys are new here don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe follow me on instagram i recently lost about 35 pounds around there i'm kind of like leveling out a little bit in like the actual number on the scale but i can tell in my body is changing consistently every single week because I started to up my protein. That was like a huge thing for me. I felt like I wasn't having enough protein in my diet. So I got my protein and I started to lift weights, like heavy weights and not do as much cardio. And it's crazy, like my body is getting smaller. Like I am starting to notice muscle definition. Sorry if you hear the dishwasher, but I'm starting to notice like really good changes in my body, jeans that like didn't fit me a couple months ago are fitting me like really well now. We are about to make my morning coffee and I am so beyond excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Premier Protein. Such a crazy thing because I used to drink their shakes all the time, like literally for so many years and now I'm working with them and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna show you guys their newest shake flavor and you're gonna love it. So Premier just launched a new flavor match. This is the chocolate peanut butter shake. This is literally so good. This is literally the perfect match of flavors. And you guys know my perfect match is me and coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use these Premier Protein shakes in my morning coffee. It's just nice because it gets the added protein in, adds a really good flavor, and it steers me away from adding too much added sugar to my coffee in the mornings. Just so you guys know, you could have these shakes just as is in the morning, when you get back from the gym, whenever you wanna have them. It's a really good on the go option because they're so easy. Like you can just store them in your gym bag and have one whenever you need the added protein. I would say every morning I use about a third of this to add into my coffee. Only one gram of sugar, three grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein. Like that is bomb. These come in so many different flavors, but I've just am obsessed with this new flavor, chocolate peanut butter. So we have my freshly brewed cup of coffee right here. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my morning coffee pretty much every morning. So I'm gonna take some of the Premier Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter Shake, and this is a fresh one. So I'm gonna add that in first, and this is gonna give your coffee such a nice flavor. So yeah, like I said, I probably use a little bit more than a third of one of these shakes every morning. And then I frothed up some almond milk, so I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of this. My mug is a little small. There we go. And lastly, I add a little bit of cinnamon. All right, and here is my finished stunning cup of coffee. I always post these on my Instagram story and I've been getting so many questions about how I make them. So it's this simple, you guys. Brew some coffee, add in some Premier Protein and chocolate peanut butter, add frothed almond milk, some cinnamon, and you have yourself the perfect morning coffee. This is like the reason I wake up in the morning. So thank you so much to Premier Protein for sponsoring today's video. Definitely make sure to check out the link in the description box down below and get yourself some. Try them out in your coffee. You will not regret it. So good. But I'm gonna drink this, get some work done on my computer, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time to make breakfast. Just did some of the prep for breakfast. So I cut up like half of the jalapeno, 
just the little bit of tomato I had left over. I have a brand new one, but I don't feel like using that one yet, so I just used up what I had, some bell pepper and some fresh ham. Cut all of that up into like really small pieces because we're making egg bites, you guys. I've become obsessed with egg bites recently and I wanted to see if I could make them on my own at home, like better and probably a little bit healthier. So I cut up all that. You can do whatever kind of toppings inside that you want to do. Like you could do spinach, mushrooms, different types of cheeses, everything. I think I'm gonna do cheddar cheese inside of mine. And then you're gonna need six eggs. So I have all six eggs right here. I'm gonna start by cracking all of these in a mixing bowl. Also, you're gonna need some whipping cream and your choice of cheese. Like I said, I'm gonna use cheddar cheese. That was actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Very straightforward. I seasoned the eggs with red pepper, pepper, and a little bit of a lemon uh, garlic seasoning. Added all the toppings in. I didn't think it was gonna make a perfect 12, but yeah, I didn't even mention, I put them all into a muffin tin, so that way they're like perfect bite-sized pieces. You could use like a, a baking tray or a baking dish too. You would just have to cut it whenever you wanted some, so this is easier because they're gonna all be little bite sized and you can store these in the fridge. It said online for up to like five days. So this is like a good easy meal prep breakfast to make. I think I'm gonna top them all off with a little bit of everything but the bagel. Bake them in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or so. And I will show you guys the finished product when we're done. Okay, wow, 20 minutes later, they are all done. I'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit but these look and smell so good and this is so easy i'm like obsessed with this now i want to do this with like mushroom spinach feta cheese like all different type of combos because well i haven't tried them yet but so far so good <laughs> and it doesn't take long it's not really that messy i was debating if i should have two or three but they just look and smell so good i went with three because these look bomb just drizzling on a little bit of sriracha do, do, do. Perfect. I don't even think you guys understand how obsessed I am with these now. Oh my god. I'm trying to like show you the inside of them. These are so good. And I love how you can make a bunch ahead of time and then you can just reheat them. Have them for a couple of days. This is amazing. I'm gonna eat these while I read some of my new book and I will talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time for lunch before my workout. It is a little while later. I ran some errands. I've been working on my computer, hence my blue light glasses. And it's just about time for lunch. Actually, it's kind of like past lunch time now. It is 2.40. Sometimes I just don't eat lunch until a little bit later and then it just kind of like puts dinner off until like 8 30. it's fine it all works out in the end but i'm going down to the gym in a little bit before i go down i want to eat so we're gonna make lunch right now it's gonna be like a chicken pesto i want to say panini but i don't have a panini press so we're just gonna heat it up on the stove y'all will see as we go along but i just am like prepping all the ingredients right now so let me get it together i'll show you guys everything that you're gonna need it's really easy and it's really good it's kind of like inspired by like that popular 
TikTok sandwich, but instead of turkey, I'm doing chicken, adding a couple different things, switching some things around, but yeah. All right, so for this yummy sandwich that we're gonna make, you're gonna need a couple slices of a fresh mozzarella cheese. I have three here. I'll probably use like two and a half. Um, some tomato, so I have a garden tomato. I hope I'm in focus. My camera has been bugging recently, but tomato, a little bit of red onion. Your choice of pesto, this is like a basil pesto. It's brand new, but lately I've just been obsessed with pesto, so I knew I had to add it into the sandwich. And then use your choice of hummus. I'm doing, I think it's a yeah, roasted garlic hummus. So good, I love anything garlicky. You guys know that. You're gonna need some type of meat or like a meat alternative. I'm doing chicken breast, so we have that right there. You could do turkey, you could do ham, I guess. Really anything, you could do like a meat, like a fake meat. Um, I have some arugula that I'm gonna add in, and then your choice of bread. I have a nice fresh loaf right here. I just got this today. Um, this is like a farmer's bread, so it has like a lot of different seeds and stuff in it. I just prefer it like that. You can get whatever bread you want. You can put this on an English muffin, a bagel, really anything. So I'm just gonna start by cutting up a couple slices of the red onion and the tomato, and then we just have to assemble it and heat it up really easy. All right, so as you guys saw, I assembled the entire sandwich. What I forgot to mention before I started doing it is I did butter um, both the outside slices of the bread because we're gonna put it in the pan. You could eat it just like this without the butter on it and like have it cold, but I like it warmed up for some reason lately. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, we assembled everything, added it all in there, good amount of all the ingredients, and I'm having a pan heat up a little bit with some minced garlic because y'all know I love me some garlic. Um, and you don't have to do butter too. I did a vegan butter, but you could do um, just like a little bit of spray oil in the pan as well. I just ran out of that. So we're going with the butter. This is a big heavy duty, hefty sandwich, but it's so good. I'm so excited to eat it. Yeah, now that the pan is warmed up, I'm keeping it on a low heat. I'm gonna add the sandwich in, let it cook up and get nice and toasty on both sides. And that's really all it takes.
I sliced it in half. Like I said, this is a big sandwich, so I might not be able to finish all of it, but I like to just at least have it as an option for myself because I'm pretty good about like stopping if I'm full, but I'm kind of hungry these days. Lately, I've been lifting a lot more weights, so I feel like I need a lot more food in my diet just to like keep up with the weightlifting so that way I can start lifting heavier and heavier every week. Um, but yeah, here's what my sandwich looks like. She's stunning. I just took pictures of the sandwich, so I was busy doing that for a second, but it looks so good. The cheese melts in with everything else, and I love like warm tomatoes, the arugula, red onion. Oh my god, it all just like the pesto and the hummus, it all complements each other so well. It's absolutely delicious. I'm so excited to eat this right now. I toasted the bread like literally perfectly. The key to toasting it really well is doing it low and slow. Like keep your heat on like the lowest possible heat setting. Push it down with a spatula a lot and you'll get like the perfect crispiness on your bread. And then also on the side, I'm having two clementines because I've been obsessed with these recently. I don't know how, this is the one thing I don't know how to refrain myself from eating like a million of, but at least they're like not bad for you. They're just so good. Like what do they, what is with these things that make me so addicted to them? I don't know, especially in the spring and summer. So yeah, I'm gonna have two of these. I'm trying to get like my fruit intake better as well because I'm really bad about that. Yeah, there's my lunch. I will talk to you guys when it's time for dinner, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be so good. So stay tuned for that. So I have showered, I am doing some laundry, somehow, some way, as usual. Time got the best of me. I was doing some work on my computer, I had to like select some products and I like to go through like so much of the website to make sure I get the best products. So I was like busy doing that and like before I knew it, it was nine o'clock. So I'm like, oh my God, I need to make dinner ASAP. So we're making what I've been looking forward to all day. I know that this was really popular on TikTok a while ago and I showed it to you guys like the way to do this style my dryer is so loud <laughs> but I showed you guys how to do this tortilla hack a while ago but I never did it with taco stuff so that's what we're gonna be doing today it's the tortilla hack but with taco ingredients or like taco ingredients you'll see so um yeah I started by cooking up the meat that's really like the only difficult part to this so just keep stirring that I have it on a low heat and I just added um, a little bit of taco seasoning to it maybe like a third of the packet I don't want anything like too salty but I'm gonna let this cook up a little bit more and then I'll just save I have a container already I'll just save half of this for tomorrow I love making ground beef ahead of time because tomorrow for lunch I'll just take some of this and put it in um, some pasta with like a little red sauce and you have the perfect meal as for the rest of the ingredients I laid everything out. So we have a tortilla um, These are tomato ones, but you could do or this is just a wrap not a tortilla Sorry, and then I have some avocado. I really want to use up. She's not the prettiest, but she's only like a day old So I'm like, okay, I need to use that up. So I'm gonna mash up some avocado definitely gonna put some tomato in there some cheddar cheese This is some chopped up lettuce. We have some Greek yogurt and a jalapeno. I might add a little bit of salsa if I'm feeling crazy, but yeah, this is like the base of everything that you'll need, so not too many ingredients. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky when you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't want to be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't want to be shy. I will let my guard down. I want to laugh out loud. Talk a little deep.
talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy so I ended up combining the tomato and the avocado and jalapeno all into kind of like a makeshift guac. I seasoned it with pepper, red pepper, and tahini. Basically the seasoning that I do for everything. Um, yeah, I just mashed up the avocado a little bit. Super yummy. I've been obsessed with avocado recently. I know I'm so late to the trends, but I just can't stop having it but I have everything all prepped and ready for me to assemble my little wrap so I'm gonna explain this really quick I'm so sorry about my laundry should I pause it let me pause it okay it can shut up for a second for this if you've never seen the TikTok hack style video that everyone was like going crazy about a couple months ago you take your tortilla or your wrap and you fold it into four that's what I do just to like have a guide. And then you have like one, two, three, four sections. Take your knife and just go from the center. This is hard to do with one hand. You go from the center and you cut out, okay? I might have to do it off camera. Okay, actually, no, I got it. <laughs> it's just taking me a second here. But so now you have this little slit in your wrap. And what you're gonna do is essentially fill it up on each four sections, and then you're gonna fold up, fold over, and fold down. And then you have kind of like this little handheld wrap that makes things so much easier to eat, so much better to eat, because you get a little bit of every ingredient in every bite, and it makes it like easier to cook. You just needed to have four different sections to choose from so I think I'm gonna do like the cheese and the um, I say sour cream but the cheese and the Greek yogurt together then we're gonna have the ground beef in one section lettuce in one section and then the guac in one that's four right and then I decided I'm gonna dip this in salsa at the end Now you can see we have it all folded. I stuff mine so heavy, so it is like a little bit thick, but you know, do it to your preference. Um, now that we have it folded, I'm gonna put it back on the stove top just for like a couple minutes to get it nice and crispy, and I'll touch back with you guys when it's done. I think we were meant to be. All right, and here is the finished product. We have the salsa verde on the side so we can dip it in. It's so nice, like I said, because you get a piece, like a layer of every single bit of this meal in each bite. It's not like, you know, a burrito where sometimes you get like a giant glob of sour cream or something and you're like, where's the rest of all the ingredients? This is perfect because literally every bite you get each layer and it's just so good. Like, look at this, you guys, I feel like the video just doesn't do it justice of how bomb this is about to be. I get the edges like literally so crispy. It's better than Taco Bell, which isn't saying much because Taco Bell isn't the greatest, but it's better than Taco Bell, okay? Everything is gonna be nice and warm and melted. It is going to be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna watch Married to Medicine. I'm on a reunion, so it's getting like really heated and I'm like obsessed with Married to Medicine right now. I love anything on Bravo. But I'm gonna watch that and I will talk to you guys in a little bit because I'm gonna have like a little dessert snack just because I want something sweet at the end of the night. So I'll talk to you guys then. But this is dinner, beautiful. Could not be more excited to eat right now. Hi, so dinner was literally incredible. I give it like a 14 out of 10. It was so good i wouldn't change a thing but yeah i'm sitting down on my couch i have like a few more minutes left of my show and then i need to go in the bathroom self-tan do like a self-care kind of night 
and read and work on my computer. I have like a lot of stuff that I have to do. I was debating if I wanted an Italian ice or something a little bit different. Ended up going kind of random. It's a rice cake with peanut butter, sea salt, like a little bit of fresh cracked sea salt and cinnamon. I don't know, but I'm like a rice kick. Rice kick, rice cake, rice cake kick recently. So I'm going to enjoy that, watch the rest of my show, and then I am going to bed. I'm just gonna have water for the rest of the night, but that is all I am eating for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. If you're new here, if this is the first one you're seeing, I have a million of these. I upload probably like one every week or around that. I upload them a lot because I eat a lot and you guys love seeing my new recipes and like what I'm making and all that kind of stuff. So if you wanna see more, I have a whole playlist. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And I think that's everything. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video very soon.